Hi, my name is Torben Sko, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate five camera tracked head gestures for interacting with computer games, namely first person shooters. Now the concept of head tracking is where the computer is aware of the user's head position and possibly even rotations in regards to the screen. Now this information can be gained in a number of ways, but we've chosen to use a standard web camera and a piece of software called Face API. The Face API software quickly acquires a user's head without even any prior learning. It can handle very rapid movements over a large interaction space, and in addition to this, can even handle contortions of the face and obstructions. This software provides a great platform for developing a number of interaction techniques that utilize both the orientation and position of the user's head. The five that I've developed here, I've integrated into the Half-Life 2 engine, also known as the Source engine. The first technique is a replication of the one made popular by Johnny Lee. By altering the perspective of the view, we can allow the monitor to look more like a window into the virtual world. For those of you wanting more detail about this technique, I suggest you check out Johnny Lee's video. The next technique allows the player to zoom in by moving their head closer to the screen. This allows them to get a closer glance at some of the other characters around the scene. A slight variation of this technique is to integrate it with the pre-existing zoom function. The advantage of this is it requires a smaller amount of head movement. Another technique is to allow the user to peer around the corners by tilting their head. This allows us to spy on some unsuspecting characters and even plan some tactical manoeuvres. Another technique is to control the orientation of the camera using the orientation of the user's head. This provides a bit more energy to the scene and looks a bit more like a handycam. A variant of this technique is to allow the user to spin around by doing a head flick. This is useful when you're taken off guard. The final technique, known as iron sighting, allows the player to aim down the barrel of their weapon by tilting their head to the side, much like they would in real life. This technique becomes particularly interesting when we combine it with a dynamic scope. As these techniques work on different kinds of head gestures, many of them can be used at the same time. Combining zooming and rotating allows us to quickly turn around and zoom in on a target. By combining zooming and peering, we can effectively use our binoculars around a corner. By combining spinning and iron sighting, we can quickly eliminate an enemy who's taken us off guard. I hope you found this video informative, and hopefully it's provided an insight into some of the interaction techniques we may see in the future.